excited to get back on the road again. I did not post this whole time because, you know, I have to go through all the videos and photos I took because I didn't want to be posting a bunch of family's funniest home videos. I'm leaving Maine and I'm heading I learned early on was not to depend on GPS maps, especially if you're going to be traveling in remote areas. So I stopped off at AAA to get myself some paper maps. What I'd like to do right now while I have a little bit of time before I get back on the road is take you inside my van and show you some of the updates that I've made. Now it's going to be in a couple of different sections because I did film this over a couple of different days. So bear with me and hopefully it doesn't look too jumbled up. So as you can see, I took everything out of the van. I have a new bed. I'm gonna be putting this carpeting in. There's my dresser. And then I got a little um, bookshelf here. That's gonna be for my food. So I have the carpet almost done. I'm going to make a seam right here. This will allow me to have both seats up when I want to. I'm allowing about two inches overlay here. And then I'll finish tucking this in and this will be when I want the seats down. it just started pouring rain on me. Not nice. Ah. But I got some of the furniture in. Actually, I got all the furniture in. I'm going to have my jackery up there. It's going to be secured here. See, this used to be a screw. And I took the screw out and the same spot and it's going to get secured on here there's also another one back in there i can't show you right now but um, i'll show you once i secure it um this is the frame of the bed and i'll show you that when it's all put together um maybe later tonight or tomorrow let me show you around here i gotta get wet oh So I got this rubber, it was a remnant piece, and uh, he gave it to me for like $4 at Lowe's, and it works great because this is the area that I mostly do my bathing in, and it gets wet, so I wanted something down here, so I like that a lot. Let me show you what I did here. Because that dips down there, and it wasn't quite level, I had my son-in-law saw off the leg on that end. And I just have this over here. I still have it a little bit high, so I have to adjust those screws a little bit. And then it'll be really level. And a little bit lower. I didn't quite need it that high. So I have lots of room in here. If I wanted to, I could still have that seat up, take the carpet out, and that'll work just fine. I'll just roll it up. With the seat out, there'll be storage underneath there for the carpet. My 
goal was to have a four passenger car with a place for me to sleep in the back. Ultimately, which I'll get to in a couple of months, is to be able to sleep two people. That's coming. It's not here yet, but that's coming. So stay tuned. But today I want to show you my four passenger setup and how I turn it into a van that I can sleep in. So I'm sorry if it seems a little dark in here, but here's my two seats in the front, the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Coming around to the side, this is the seat that's in back of the passenger, and that's the seat that's in back of the driver. So right now, I can take three other people besides myself. And these are stow and go seats. Now I can seat three people and I can still sleep back there. However, and I don't have the mattress on right now, but what I wanted to show you is the construction here of how I can extend this bed. See these hinges? They come up. I don't have it finished right now, but there will be a board attached to the top here. And that will extend my bed. Now notice the carpet. It's gray in the back and I wanna put that same carpet up in here. So what I did was I cut a section of that carpet to place here. Now I'm gonna set up my van to where I put the refrigerator in and I have extra room for when I travel solo. As you can see, I know they have another piece of carpet on the ground there, so everything looks really nice. So one thing that I wanted to show you that I forgot to show you uh, a little while ago is that when I have this seat up here, I can put it down and if I want to have a passenger sometimes and um, I don't want to always stow the seat, I can put my feet right on here. Then when I want to stow the seat, I'll show you uh, what we've got built. I've got this coming up, pull my mattress down. I have an extension for my bed. Easy peasy. This goes down obviously. Put the mat back on it. And when I'm solo, I'll be like this most of the time. And then it just clips under here real easy it just pulls up and goes down but this is the way that my bed was constructed there's a frame here this is a solid piece because when you lift this up it clears the window better with having a solid piece here. This is the inside. There's a brace there and as you can see, I have my solar panels here. I have some other things back here. I'll go through some of this when I fill the rest of it up. I just wanna show you the construction of it. Pretty simple. I'll show you my bed from this angle here. As you can see, I have plenty of room in between here. So that works well. Got a little decor going on here. Some daisies and yellows and grays. Back here I have a little bin. 
Well, let me show you what I discovered a problem to be after the bed was constructed. I have to actually slide my mattress off in order to get to the compartment below here. And this is a problem for me. So this has to be fixed. But while I'm in here, let me show you what I have. These are all items that I'm not going to be using on a daily basis. I'm only going to be utilizing them when I'm camping at a campsite where I'm going to be pulling out my tent. I'm going to be pulling out my chairs. I'm going to be pulling out my solar panels are in here. Um, I've got some craft items and some extra clothes. So these are items that I'm not going to be using on a daily basis. That works okay. Let me show you the problem here. We bought these hinges and they were supposed to work right, but they're not. Um, see there, I don't know if you can see because of the sun's glaring in there, but there's not enough room for my mattress to fit back here. It can be fixed. See that stationary board back there? I can put another board along here to where the, this will be stationary here and then it will fold up to here. That'll work. Um, I'll just cut the board here a little bit. That'll solve this problem. Um, I'll have to work on this a little bit. I mean, it's, it's fine for right now, but it's not ideal. So as you can see, I carried the color scheme over here to my curtains, I have the daisies on here. It's my little happy face. It's, that's my wipes container. And it's right above my dresser here. Before I show you what's inside my dresser, let me show you what I have behind the curtain. Behind door number one, I have a new five gallon water container. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you that I had a five gallon jug. Well, that took up a lot of room. And this was space back here in back of my dresser. That works really well. And I still have my pump. So it's very convenient because it's like I have a sink right here. And then I just have some tissues. Um, behind door number two and I have slits on here see I've actually got more room back here I've got some space back here so that's what's behind my curtain now I do want to point out that this is blocked off it's behind my front seat so this window I don't really need to be looking out for safety my other side yes but this one can be blocked off oh let me show you this I was using these to put my reflectix up on the window here um, just to make them stay a little bit better but I actually used this long stick I stick it in my water container to see how full it is, and it works really well. I got these at the dollar store. What I like about this water container is that it has an air hold on the side. You can undo the lid. This is a larger lid where I can fill it. And this smaller lid fits my electric water pump. Now it is a little bit loose so what I came up with is I cut a pool noodle and set it along the edge like that I'm 
and stuck this in and it fits very snugly now and I have it placed right in back of my dresser it fits perfectly back here I still have a little bit of room on the side too awesome okay so now let me show you what's inside my dresser if you notice I put some velcro strips that work pretty well so in these two top drawers I have my pants shorts and shirts it is way too stuffed even though I have them rolled up I need to be going through these this is my hair and makeup drawer below that I've got all my toiletries if you don't know about this soap yet, it's marvelous. It's called Dr. Bonner's Pure Castile Soap, and it comes in different fragrances. But what I usually do, it's very concentrated. So I put a couple of drops in a water bottle with some um, water and um, use it for everything. All right, don't need to be going through my underwear drawer. But I will show you this drawer here. And I'm using some paper plates. Nothing real exciting in there. Regular bowls. I've got my towels down there. I will go through my kitchen drawer. I want you to see what I have. I absolutely love the Hot Logic Minis. Um, I have two of them. This one you can plug into a regular outlet. And this one has a 12 volt. I'll do some cooking demos on this throughout my trip. But it's so easy and convenient to use. If you don't know about Hot Logic Mini, I have a link in my description for you to check them out. Highly recommended. I also have a little hot plate. I got this before I got my stove, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But this just also has a regular plug, and I don't use it too, too often, but, you know, it's nice and convenient, so why not? Move this cup out of the way. Next, oh, I use this all the time. This little pot here, let me show you how that works. Again, it has a regular plug and it folds up like that. I love it. I use this all the time to heat water for oatmeal, to heat water for coffee, hot chocolate. So convenient, quick and easy. Again, there's a just link in the description below. A nothing fancy can opener and some pots. You know, knife, things like that. And the best part, everything fits conveniently in one drawer. Okay, next. Oh, I have a fan here. I'll show you this. That just sits up here. I have another one on the other side. I'll show you that too. Anyway, um, I've got a trash can here. A friend of mine gave me this spray. I like it a lot. Thank you very much. So I love these little Velcro strips. I have everything secured down with Velcro strips. It just stays right there. All right, let me take this out. Oh, while I'm here, let me show you. This is my plug for my Jackery, and it just goes right in here, right in there. I'll show you my Jackery in a little while. So here's the stove. It's a gas one. It takes both butane or propane, which makes it real convenient because it's not always easy to find the butane containers. And here's my refrigerator. I am not in love with this refrigerator. 
I think it's too big for the amount of food you can get into it. Um, and I'm not actually having this on right now. I'm just storing some fruits and vegetables in it. I will use it when I camp. And I'll use it when I pull the solar panels out. <clears throat> But I'm not going to babysit it while I'm just on the road. When I'm in the city, it's easy enough to go to the grocery store and buy things fresh and cook it that day. But what I do want to show you is I discovered something new to do instead of Reflectix. I do have Reflectix, but I love... Just putting this up like this across my window and across my front like this. Um, I just discovered this last night. So I'm actually going to get another one of these and put it for the other side. Still have my Reflectix there down there. But you know what? I'm not liking putting them up all the time. I would much rather fold and unfold this. just put Reflectix in the back here and on this window because this will end up covering my whole front let's say it's black on one side and silver on the other side what I was using it for originally was to go up across here and I tuck it in I use these clips here and I tuck it in there and then I tuck it in there. So now I'll just use two of them across the sides and then the front. That'll work out great for me. And look there, that's as much room as it's going to take. I'll put one on this side and one in the back of my other seat. Perfect. You know what? Everybody has to find their own way of doing things. Find your own groove. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is to get out on the road. I have changed things around so much and some things I've liked and some things I haven't liked. And you know what? It's fun. So all these YouTube videos that you're watching and all this planning that you're doing, I mean, it's great. I did the same thing too. But until you really get on the road, you're not going to learn how to do things your way. So here's what it looks like in the back now. I did buy a new table, a bigger table. And I've got a little hatchet there. And it serves as like a hammer too. So that'll be good in um, when I'm camping. Let me show you what's back here. First, these pillows. They are not pillows. I have blankets and sheets stuffed in here. <laughs> Here's my new food cabinet. I was going to put these in plastic bins and I still may, but I didn't get very much storage out of them. So I'm just having them like this. And I did make some little bags for little things that, you know, makes it a little bit more organized that way. These strips put across here so they don't go flying out. All right, I'm going to get back on the road now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And, you know, please join my Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. It is for women only, and that's for safety purposes. But down the line, I'm going to be doing a Patreon page for everybody. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you on the road.